banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. I always wondered how Rayman beat up bad guys when he doesn't have arms, they're invisible. But somehow he gets the job done. This is Rayman Legends on, sadly not the Dreamcast, but a lot of other game systems. Enjoy. I don't fully understand why game companies no longer support the Sega Dreamcast, because Dreamcast fanatics will buy anything. Provided it has a Sega Dreamcast release. Annoyingly this doesn't, but Rayman Legends is still an excellent game. That gives Rayman fans lots and lots and lots of Rayman. The Rayman series started in 1995 on the Sony PlayStation and has become quite popular. Spawning numerous sequels and side projects, Rayman Legends may be the biggest game of them all. It's just an absolutely monstrous game filled with excellent platforming. An interesting genre, if you ask me, because platforming was really popular in the late 80s on game systems like the NES and the Sega Genesis, where video game heroes like Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog showed the world that epic adventures could be had with beautiful 2D side-scrolling visuals. <laughs> Rayman continued that legacy on the PlayStation, where his first game was really tough, I know, because I'm playing it now, and it, it's just brutal. That's a hard game. Enter the 21st century, and Rayman continues to rock in 2013's Rayman Legends in 2D. This entire game could fit onto an NES game cartridge. With a lot of compression. And a giant funnel. Magic and, uh, no, maybe, maybe Super Nintendo. Now, the platforming isn't quite as unforgiving as it used to be. You're, you're never going to run out of lives or anything and just lose the game. So the emphasis is on collecting everything in the game, like a modern platformer. And if you're going to take that challenge, you'll be enjoying Rayman Legends for quite some time. It's just enormous. There's loads of levels and lots of things hidden throughout them, like those little teensies and you're collecting... Lums, which which apparently are the currency in Rayman universe. Lums. I'd rather be paid in Atari games. Except E.T., you can keep that one. Anyway, what you see on screen here is pretty much what you get. You get a great looking game, lots of characters, and a variety of levels. Some of them are speed runs, others are slow and more calculating. And don't forget to grab a friend or two Rayman supports one to four player local gameplay. The fact is I'm not actually the world's biggest platforming fan. I can frequently take them or leave them. I like the good games when they're good, although I'm frequently terrible at them. I find Rayman Legends to be extremely charming and approachable. It's easy enough to pick up and play and figure out what you're supposed to do, so I think it can be enjoyed by gamers of all ages, and it's a good family game. Especially with the co-op gameplay. But if you're out to ace everything, and collect everything, and kick ass on some global leaderboards, you're up for a serious challenge. Maybe you won't run out of lives like the original Rayman, but it packs a challenge when it wants to, especially in the later levels. Get ready for some frustrating jumps and numerous falls to your doom, only to be respawned a moment later, of course. But we need to keep in mind that the original platformers were made for arcades when players would be pumping quarters into the machines after they got impaled on spikes. Not so with modern consoles and games like Rayman Legends. Where this really differs is in the sheer size of the game, there's just so much of it. And it's visually stunning, I love the look and feel of the game, even the music is catchy. It 
it's got a nice organic quality to it. It's all very well produced. I detect some James Bond influence in this one, and yes, I approve. There's well over a hundred levels to play, including some unlockable levels from Rayman Origins. There's collectible characters, and a practically infinite amount of gameplay to be had with Rayman Legends. Do I recommend it? Yes. For pretty much anyone, this is just a really fun, very well-made game. And this part reminds me of Zero Wing. Truxton! We're watching the PlayStation 3 version, but you can also pick this up for the Xbox 360, PC, and the Wii U. It's Rayman Legends, available on... Not the Dreamcast, which makes Truxton angry. Otherwise, it's definitely worth owning.